we are with Claire Pillsbury and I ask to her why are you in Cagliari today? I have the great pleasure of being in Calgary today for a conference on science and libraries and talk about best practices and experiences. We can say that uh, uh, you work with the legacy of uh, Frank Oppenheimer. What, uh, what are you doing in San Francisco in uh, the Exploratorium? Frank Oppenheimer founded the Exploratorium and I was lucky enough to end up working there long ago. I uh, do in the Exploratorium uh, similar to what I worked on in, with the library, which is create hands-on exhibits. That means that the visitor is the one to create the experience at the exhibit and they explore in whichever way they want to and conduct almost a mini experiment, but very informally. There is something uh, new uh, we have to do for uh, the science uh, expositions? I don't know that we need to do completely new things. I think we always learn from the examples of the very intelligent people and creative uh, individuals who come up with these great exhibit ideas or physics demonstrations before us and then we experiment in our own way or we collaborate with artists or for example even librarians to come up with new exhibit ideas so it keeps growing and evolving and can you explain what is an um, uh, exhibit in a very few words okay in a science center an exhibit is uh, one exhibit um, experiment by itself and we tend to kind of we tend to want to be able to move these around and create new juxtapositions at different times or um, maybe take an exhibit experiment from the floor with a new idea and make it better and with our hands-on exhibits we always invite the visitor to try something, to use their own curiosity to explore, and usually it's a, some kind of scientific phenomena, sometimes it's more of a technology, but it's always in the bigger field of science at the Science Center. Okay. Do you like your work? I love my work because I get to learn something new all the time, and I really enjoy learning myself, and I enjoy this informal method uh, as much as the formal, but I like to share with other people. Okay, and uh, what you observe in the people visiting uh, Exploratorium, something changed in uh, the last 10 years? I think the most interesting thing that's changed in the last 10 years was that now we see parents bringing younger and younger children. Used to be that parents would think, well, my child isn't old enough for science, so they're not old enough for the exploratorium. They need to be seven or eight years old, maybe nine, before they really can understand or I should bring them to science. But now we find that um, younger parents seem very relaxed and they bring these four-year-olds, three-year-olds, two-year-olds to the museum, and there isn't this... Um, sense that children need to learn that there's a particular science phenomenon, they just need to learn to enjoy science, and they very much enjoy themselves there, even if they're just playing with something, spinning something, and not necessarily getting a science lesson, they're just enjoying themselves in a science center. Okay, thanks a lot. Oh, you're very welcome, Prego.